controversies pitting people living in Vancouver against the poor. And today, dozens of small businesses voiced their opposition against a proposed oil terminal in Vancouver. And our Brent Weisberg has more on that. This oil terminal is a job wrecker. It's dangerous. It needs to stop. Don Orange owns a small business in downtown Vancouver. Don is strongly opposed to the proposed Tesoro Savage oil terminal. Tesoro already transports gasoline and diesel. Now the company wants to bring in crude oil into the port of Vancouver. If all goes according to plan, Savage will move the oil and Tesoro will use it in its refineries. Officials say this proposal only calls for a terminal and not a refinery. But still, the idea of crude oil being moved over the Columbia River makes some very uneasy. If this goes through, what are you most concerned about? I am concerned about 15 million gallons of dangerous crude oil coming in and being flushed in a toilet right about where we're standing just next to downtown Vancouver every single day. We certainly know that there are issues with the derailments and the explosions and the tragedies that have occurred. So we've been at the very front of the conversation with our federal delegation and our state on making sure that the transport of, that we figure out a way to do this safely. The Port of Vancouver did not take any action today directly on the proposed terminal. Washington State's governor will make the final decision on whether or not to approve this terminal, and that could happen around March 2015. Instead, Instead, the board listened to about 23 people, most who opposed this project. Reporting in Vancouver, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.